Okay, look, I've set this thing up all correctly. I've double checked, triple checked all the settings. I've adjusted the line to the line. I'm testing a 6L6. I tested 150 times at least. I use it as a calibration tube. And I tested it on my 539C before I put it in this one just to make sure it wasn't the tube. So everything's set up correctly. And here's what happens when I press, when I go and pull this down. Nothing. Nothing happens. It's the way it was the first time I used it. Everything's set correctly for a 6L6. Can you see all the settings? The line set, I'm supposed to be able to pull this down. And I'm supposed to get a reading on the tube. And I got, it's nothing. Like I said, I think it's the capacitors and I don't know. But because I don't know enough about this, I, and because I'm going to return it, I'm not even going to try to fix it. I mean, it's a really nice, clean tester. I love that it, if it worked, it would be great. But everything is set correctly. I don't think the shorts are working either, but I don't know. But see, it's on the value. We're on number two for the plate voltage. We're on number three for the GM. The setting is on 6.3 volts. It's on 14 for the bias. And the settings here are 0, 1, 4, 6. 0, 1, 4, 6. Then it's 5, 0, 2, 3, 0. And then 5, 0, 2, 3, 0. C's 2, D's 3. B is 14. This is all for a 6L6. Everything is corrected. Here's the line test again. Line test, no problem. Line test we have. What we don't have is any reaction whatsoever to that meter when I when I go to test the tube. You know, I know how to use tube testers. This isn't all foreign to me. Um, I mean, I've read the directions, I have them here, I've gone through them step by step, and it just isn't working. I'm really sorry, but I'm going to have to return this. I can't spend a thousand dollars on a tube tester that just doesn't work, and I have no idea. I mean, for all I know, it could be something on the transformer. Anyways, long enough video.